Hello, everyone, and welcome to part three of our recommendations for financial diversity and investments. In today's video, we're going to be discussing why we believe investing out of 401ks and IRAs into uh, gold and silver and other precious metals is a good idea. Now, before we get started, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, as it helps the channel grow. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not constituted as financial advice. We're just sharing with you information so that you can decide and draw your own conclusions accordingly. So we've received many um, emails and different uh, forms of communication of people asking for different options and maybe different companies that we would recommend to them to diversify their portfolio and get out of their 401ks, IRAs, paper certificates and such. So we felt prompted to make this video to address such issue. There's about six main points that we're gonna to cover today is why we believe that this is a good idea. First of all, it's a great idea because of diversification. If you have stocks in the stock market, you're concerned about the market crash that's upcoming, even a flash crash, which would be 50%, which is obviously significant enough, or you have bank debts, um, mortgages, um, again, 401ks, IRAs, gold and silver paper certificates, um, it's a really good idea to diversify and hedge away from the traditional investments, we believe. And this is something that I have done and many of my other team members have done as well. So we've lived it out. Uh, so this is, um, you know, one of the strategies or one of the reasons why it's a good idea. And by doing so, it's going to help you to quickly navigate away from the stock market, from banks, which I think we can agree are shaky at best, being diplomatic. Number two, control and ownership. Um, it's often widely been said in the axiom, if you don't touch it, you don't own it. So for example, if you're holding a 401k, which I used to, of IRA from your job, et cetera, uh, or, your, or your spouses, or a combination thereof, um, you're holding the paper, which is debt, right? So you're holding the debt instrument, the corporation that you work for, your spouse works for, or the bank, whatever the combination of investments might be, they're holding the actual asset. So they're the ones in control. So the old axiom is if you don't touch it, you don't own it. So by taking it out of their hands, it's also putting it back into your control. And this includes also safety deposit boxes. I don't know how many of you remember, but a couple of years ago, there was a big scandal going on with banks that they were seizing safety deposit boxes and making you have to prove after all these years that you actually own the items that they were trying to confiscate. So the banks are not your friend. And I'm sorry to say the job, as you can see with all the layoffs coming, is not going to be loyal to you either. Corporations will always look out for themselves over the workers. So it's time for you now to wrest back control into your hands. Here's an example. Think of everything that you own. How many of the items that you own today were in existence 20 years ago, let alone 100 years ago? What percentage of what you own might become obsolete in the next five to 10 years? These are good thoughts and strategies to help you kind of uh, be a tipping point as to what direction you want to take your financial future, not only for yourself, but your family, your friends, your grandkids, and what is going to be your legacy. So really, as you, I'm sure you are, be intentional about not only the short term, but the long term strategies and plays of your financial well-being. Okay, number three, physical, tangible assets. We were just talking about that. So um, all the paper and so forth, um, putting it into your hands. And uh, you can also diversify. I think the other one point I want to make to you is you can diversify not just in gold and silver, but expand the horizons, platinum, palladium, copper. We touched earlier on my weekly wrap up that copper is getting to, ready to explode. We're already using copper in a lot of things, pots, uh, your piping for your, your plumbing, underground uh, uh, telecommunications infrastructure, the cabling, wiring. We've been using copper for a while, but it's been an undervalued resource. So as silver becomes harder to take in delivery, copper is going to be an excellent backstop. So again, copper, palladium, platinum, rhodium, there's a lot of different metals that you can take advantage of, not just gold and silver, if you do a conversion. Okay, number four, timing. Um, I converted my 401ks and IRAs years ago. Looking back, I've thought that maybe I should have held on for this moment um, because I think the timing is optimum. A lot of companies now 
are allowing you to, when I say companies, I mean the gold and silver uh, conversion companies. Some corporations will allow you leeway to avoid a 10% penalty. Some will not. I know many don't. It just depends on your circumstances. So give me some rope here. But a lot of the 401k and IRA conversion companies, like the ones we're going to mention in a little bit, uh, will do it for you at no penalty because obviously they're trying to incentivize you to do business with them. So if they make it difficult, you'll look elsewhere. So the timing could not be better. We know, we've talked about it here a lot, that a incoming real estate, uh, commercial and uh, residential is incoming, stock market, and your investments are at risk. So with that prote uh, protection, you're using the timing to your advantage to get out before a lot of it implodes. Also, uh, converting into gold and silver and other metals is an excellent protection as a hedge against inflation and long-term uh, economic loss. So you're covering yourself on both ends. Number five, a safe passage, as we said, from uh, banks. And uh, some of it may seem redundant, but, but it all does connect. Uh, passage from banks and company penalties. Um, you know, again, banks have their own set of penalties. I've heard stories of people who've had financial advisors and wealth managers at well-known banks, they've had relationships for you know, 10, 20, 30 years, and they're now um, you know, pulling their money out to get gold and silver. And those people that they've entrusted for most of their career are saying to them, quote, if you pull out, this is going to be the biggest mistake of your life for them, not for you. you know, why are they trying to keep it from you if it's not worth anything? That's something you have to think about as a critical thinking thought. It's not in their best interest for you to remove it because they're controlling the asset. So that goes back to one of our earlier points. And finally, uh, and maybe one of the most important uh, benefits to doing so, peace of mind. You'll be able to sleep better at night. You won't have those worries or anxieties about, uh, you know, should I do this? Should I not do this? I should have done it sooner. You know, take advantage now while you can. Give yourself, your friends, your family, peace of mind. Again, putting yourself in a winning position for both the short and the long term. So these points are all separate, but also conjoined at the same time. So I want to put some emphasis on them. For more information, you can visit our links in the description of some of the companies that we recommend. Thank you for your time and for listening. We pray this was beneficial and we'll see you shortly. Take care.